everyone, and welcome to another day of A Year in Miracles. And today we're starting a new section, section number six in our workbook of A Course in Miracles. And this section is all about what is Christ? So I'm going to go ahead and start before we read our next lesson, because this is kind of the introduction to our next lesson. Christ is God's Son as He created Him. He is the self we share, uniting us with one another and with God as well. He is the thought which still abides within the mind that is His source. He has not left His holy home, nor lost the innocence in which He was created. He abides unchanged forever in the mind of God. Christ is the link that keeps you one with God and guarantees that separation is no more than an illusion of despair, for hope forever will abide in him. Your mind is part of his and his part of yours. He is the part in which God's answer lies, where all decisions are already made and dreams are over. He remains untouched by anything the body's eyes perceive. For though in him his father placed the means for your salvation, yet does he remain the self who, like his father, knows no sin. Home of the Holy Spirit and at home in God alone, does Christ remain at peace within the heaven of your holy mind? This is the only part of you that has reality and truth. The rest is dreams. Yet will these dreams be given unto Christ to fade before his glory and reveal your holy self, the Christ, to you at last. The Holy Spirit reaches from the Christ in you to all your dreams and bids they come to him to be translated into truth. He will exchange them for the final dream, which God appointed as the end of dreams. For when forgiveness rests upon the world and peace has come to every son of God, what could there be to keep things separate? For what remains to see except Christ's face? And how long will this holy face be seen when it is but the symbol that the time for learning now is over and the goal of the at one mint has been reached at last. So therefore, let us seek to find Christ's face and look on nothing else. As we behold his glory, we will know we have no need of learning or perception or time or anything except the Holy Self, the Christ whom God created as his son. So that is the description of what is Christ. Now I'm going to go to A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 271. So these next several lessons are going to be about what is Christ. So today's workbook lesson, A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 271 is Christ's is the vision I will use today. Each day, every hour, every instant, I am choosing what I want to look upon the sounds I want to hear, the witnesses to what I want to be the truth for me. Today, I choose to look upon what Christ would have me see, to listen to God's voice and seek the witnesses to what is true in God's creation. In Christ's sight, the world and God's creation meet. And as they come together, all perception disappears. His kindly sight redeems the world from death, 
for nothing that he looks on must live, remembering the Father and the Son, Creator and creation, unified. Father, Christ's vision is the way to you. What he beholds invites your memory to be restored to me. And this I choose to be what I would look upon today. And that's it. That is our lesson for today. And you know, basically what it does is it, it says, we have a choice on what we will seek today, right? I am choosing what I want to look upon, the sounds I want to hear, the witnesses to what I want to be the truth for me, right? Because don't we send our witnesses out? We make up something in our mind and we're like, this is true. And then we send our witnesses out to go get proof, right? You know, prove to me that this is true. And we do it all the time. Usually when we're looking to blame somebody for something, right? Or hold a grievance, right? Well, this person did this bad thing to me. So I'm going to send my witnesses out so that they can bring back proof and show me all these terrible things that this person or this situation or whatever it was, this, this, this thing that's happened to me, right? Because in our ego mind, we think we are the victim of the world we see. We look for witnesses. Well, today we say, oh no, no, I'm not going to look for witnesses for grievances or anything that has anything to do with fear or the illusion. I choose today to align my mind with Christ's mind, right? So I am going to look for witnesses for that. So today, send all your witnesses out, go gather proof, you know, that you are aligned with that one mind, right? Because if the truth is, what you seek for, you will find, whatever that is. You will go get your witnesses to bring back proof, and you'll get it, you'll get it. And see how simple it is, because the moment you change your mind, you'll get different proof that comes back to you. So um, today, let's, let's be conscious about choosing Christ's vision. And all that means is we're choosing the vision that is the truth about the one mind that we share with love, right? The one mind that we share with the universe, with source, and uh, whatever that word is for you. Let's choose that today, right? And see how that shows up in our world. Because it will. It's just the way it is. It goes back to the law of attraction, right? Like attracts like. You will bring back whatever you seek. So be a conscious creator today to choose your life with happiness and love with those 60,000 thoughts a day, right, that are going through your mind. Um, and that's our, that's our lesson for today. So thanks for joining me, everyone, here on this beautiful Saturday morning. I hope you guys are having wonderful plans today to have a nice weekend. Hey, Vera, great to see you here. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Greg. Hey, Alicia. Hi, Leah. Good to see you here. Good morning, Greg. God morning. I know I love that when you say that. It's so true, right? Because we're all part of that one mind of God. So why isn't it God morning, right? Let's choose that. Hi, Cheryl. Great to see you here this morning. Hi, honey. Good morning, Jean. Hey, Kelly. Good to see you here on the live feed. Hey, Parul. Wonderful to see you this morning. Good morning, Cindy. Great to see you here. Christ is a thought in source mind, and we are the same, one holy mind. That's right, Vera. And I think you probably heard me use that word in the beginning. Um, I said at one mint, right? A lot of people, uh, the, the, the real pronunciation is atonement. But again, A Course in Miracles says words are but symbols of symbols. And we might have, you know, some symbols attached with the word atonement, that might conjure up feelings of sin or guilt or, you know, those types of things. So again, it's the undoing of our early conditioning and understanding the true meaning of these words. At one mint is really more in alignment with what that word means. It just means that we are getting to that place where we understand that we are at one with that mind of God, right? And with, with all of us, with our brothers, and we are part of that at one mint. So one holy mind, that's right, Vera. Good morning, Sarah, great to see you here on the live feed this morning. Hey, Colette, good to see you here this morning. Nice to see everyone. Hey, Chris, good to see you here too. Hey, Pete, good to see you also. 
Uh, thank you, Cheryl. You are a beautiful soul too, my friend, and I hope you are having a fun Saturday. I'm actually going to go for a walk on the beach. I know, I'm sorry for all of you who are not close enough to do that, but it's like a six-mile drive for me, and it is my happy place. So that is what I'm going to do next. Good morning, Paul. Hey, Seth Grenda, nice to see you. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Great to see all of you here on the live feed, and enjoy this les lesson today. Send your witnesses out to use Christ's vision today, right? And it's, it's kind of a repeat of some of the earlier lessons. And Course in Miracles is famous for that, right? Just repeating and repeating and repeating. And, and the more you do a certain thing over and over again, the more it becomes normal and natural. And, and you can do it like more effectively, right? When you practice it every day. And that's what these lessons are all about, practicing. Not perfect, just practicing. Just takes a little willingness maybe to see that Christ in your brothers today when you are wherever you are, me walking on the beach this morning or when I go to the grocery store later or wherever I happen to be, in my family's eyes, right? Um, it's nice to be able to connect like that and say, I see you, I see that Christ in you that is in me, right? So uh, check that out today, try that out on your friends, your family, complete strangers, right? Because we are all part of that one mind of God. And maybe someone you're holding a grievance against, right? Why not try it out on them? Because that's where it gets really tricky, but also where the greatest rewards are, right? When we can do that and our mind can see them as that one with us, and that we share that holy mind of God, of Christ, using Christ's vision. So great to see you all here this morning. Hey, good morning, Greg. Good morning, Charles. Good morning, Dan. Great to see you here on the live feed. So enjoy your day and um, feel free to post any questions or share what's coming up for you around these lessons. You can share it right here on this main Facebook page or jump on over to our private Facebook group where you're supported by more like-minded people who are just wanting to learn, right? And wanting to understand and wanting to have that peace inside of themselves and wanting to be happy, right? Because happiness is our only function. So let's do that today. And uh, I will see you back tomorrow morning with our next live A Course in Miracles workbook lesson within this same section of What is Christ, right? So let's learn together, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again for joining, everyone. I really appreciate seeing you all on this wonderful Saturday morning, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. All right, bye, guys.